Hello, my name is Jennifer and welcome to my old salt house battle renovation, which is once again part of a battle collab that was arranged by Havana Sims. And this is our final building in San Mai Chino. The instructions are up on the screen and it goes the old salt house a new owner has bought this home and is looking to do something special with it for the holidays he would love to open up a holiday shop that the whole town could come and purchase their holiday needs store needs we must keep the shape of the build but we could add remove change the windows doors fences and gates landscaping and staircases we had to have 10 christmas trees and we need to have an area for santa and a fireplace now it was due earlier but i'm a bit late in getting my video up so it's up now and havana did do a tour but it was actually earlier than the time stated on there and you can watch the replay of it on her twitch which i will link down below and the people who were participating in it are up on the screen since this was supposed to have an area for santa i actually have a family with father winter in it and the father winter in that family is actually the father of the sims from my get famous let's play there was when it started they were a teen and a child a felicity and jasper and so I figured what I'd do is I'd come back and go revisit the actual parents of them and have it be his dream to open up this new retail store over in San Maishuno. So luckily, Felicity and Jasper's parents are very wealthy, though not actually because Father Winter is part of the family because his mother or their mother earned all of the money. Uh, I think I even cheated the money out that Father Winter brought when he moved into the family. But they have a very, very big family, which I'll talk about a bit more as we get to the actual speed build part here. So when I was doing the speed build, I just sort of showed the preliminary part where I recorded it and took it out and edited and sped it up. But it's a pretty big build and it made even bigger because, of course, I added a basement. So what I did after I show sort of the taking out what was there and adding the basement stuff and, and doing some of the outside area. I just have some pictures that you'll sort of see, um, you know, the empty room built up to what it looks like uh, as it is on the gallery. So you can see it going sort of in the background. Just in general, what I did is, of course, the old salt house is actually a residence to start with. So I converted it to retail. And I made the whole back half the um, residence for the family. And because it's a big family, which I'll go over soon, uh, I, they have a lot of bedrooms and a lot of stuff in there. So the whole back half, uh, back, the main floor and the top floor is theirs, as well as because I added a basement, there's an area downstairs that is also theirs because I did have jasper from my get famous let's play move back into the family to help his father with his dream of this shop because the whole idea was that they uh he's really into robotics so they along with selling christmas trees are going to sell bots and toys and and even a couple of servos they, i didn't actually have them build them because <laughs> it would have taken too long to do that so debug was my my mode for getting those things but he was actually working on the uh the uh the skill and doing some building but anyways uh you can see i actually added two fireplaces but the fireplace in the front half which is the area which becomes where you go to visit santa or father winter i changed the fireplace there to be one that comes with the holiday pack and um, the actual store where you buy like the bots and the toys is in the basement and the mom paints so i threw a few pictures up that she just went autonomously started painting and they were some of them were masterpieces so i set them for sale too and the trees end up at the back this area here we were supposed to keep the shape of the build the same which i did but i did add on this area primarily because I figured it's winter and winter in San Machino is cold and the mom is also a gardener and like she's a gardener she works from home so she needs to have a spot to put her garden when they're over here working so that she doesn't have to go all the way home to do her work tasks and come back again so this area ends up being for her garden or some of her garden that she plants as well as they have two toddlers <laughs> <laughs> which is part of the story um, that uh, has some toddler stuff there too so 
sort of the story is when I first started playing with the mom, I used her for a challenge, which was like a dome and she couldn't go out of her house. So I gave her a patchy and she befriended patchy. And then Winterfest came and Father Winter came. So she ended up getting pregnant with Father Winter's baby. And then, of course, he kept calling. And so she got pregnant again. <laughs> and those are Felicity and Jasper. And then Get Famous came out and I wanted to use them to do the Get Famous Let's Play because I had never played with any Father Winter's children. So I thought, well, that's perfect. Uh, and I wanted them to have then a set of twins after the two. And they didn't, even though I used the ley line trait and did everything I could. Usually ley line trait waits for me, works for me, I should say, but it didn't. So they had a single baby. And so right before I moved out with Jasper and Felicity, they, um, I had them try again. And they had that baby, but again, it wasn't twins. <laughs> so I kept going back to try every now and again. But then the next pregnancy, she got pregnant and... You could see she was pregnant. She was wandering around town pregnant. And then all of a sudden she wasn't pregnant anymore. And there was no baby. So, and I went back into the house and there was no baby there at all. It wasn't just like a false message. So I had them try again. So that was obviously some type of glitch. And I, that time when they tried again, I kept an eye on it. And she seemed like she was never having this baby, even though like plenty of time had passed. So that time I moved the mom in with Felicity and Jasper and, and her husband by that point and all had big family at this point they'd already you know grown up and everything and there was a baby in the house at that point so I moved the baby in but the mom was still pregnant but the mom was not showing the baby was not the baby of the mom and father winter of course so she couldn't she had to bottle feed and so she had her baby her other baby <laughs> which was a boy. So was the boy that got, so was the first baby. So they, um, so then I moved them back out. And then when I came to have this, I'm like, oh, well I have this father's winter family, but they had a toddler and two babies. And so I had to like get them to a little stage where now the toddler is a child and the two babies are toddlers. But when the, the baby who I'll say is a bit of a glitch, became a toddler he actually has the father winter baby trait so i'm not really sure what happened there it's a little bit odd so he really he really seems to be their baby but doesn't show up on their screen and doesn't look anything like them uh so the background story is they just adopted him even though really he probably was their baby somehow but uh so the family right now consists of jasper who's a young adult moved back they have uh, a daughter who just aged up to a child and then these two toddlers and then of course Father Winter and um, the mom. So it's a pretty big family, <laughs> which is why they have a lot of space for them all. And I kept, there was a bedroom on the main floor and I kept that as a bedroom for the toddlers. Uh, but I also put a bedroom upstairs that's kind of like a guest bedroom slash the toddlers once they age up to children can go up there or they can each have their own bedroom because there essentially are two. There's the toddler bedroom plus this one spare bedroom and Jasper's bedroom is in the basement. But because I do the window well, so there's light, there's like light in the basement, natural light in the basement from these window wells, which you can see me putting in right now. There's that's this back side, like I said, or the part on the bottom ends up being like the family area. And of course, the mom became a spellcaster <laughs> recently. So there's a little spot for selling spellcaster type stuff because because uh, that's what the mom is interested in. And they don't want to make it just Christmas trees because that's too, um, or winter fest trees because that's too seasonal. So that's why they have some other stuff for sale in the uh, store so that uh, they can sell things all year round. So it's a pretty big build, all things considered. Uh, because I ended up adding this basement and then of course this area at the back which like I said the main reason I have it is because of seasons and you need to have an indoor space to put your garden and so I essentially enclosed it so that it was that way and I also sometimes lately I've been instead using roofs with columns but because it was retail I didn't want anyone coming in there so I just actually had it be enclosed like a solarium or a greenhouse type thing so here's me adding the big basement <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the, the reason there's two the stairs is because one is from the residence area and one is from the store because you go down. And then I did add more bathrooms downstairs. I did toy with the idea of using the bathroom stalls that came with Discovery University, but they're really big and take a lot of space. So it actually, I found it easier to not use them and just do my old fashioned what I've been doing all along and creating my own stalls. Plus that I could add a 
potty seat to the one which you can see there and um and then also the upstairs when I was doing the build I had the two the one main bathroom that was originally there I split it you can see into two bathrooms but since the game update the showers are broken you can see now some of the uh you know as I'm sort of building it up just some pictures sort of time lapse type pictures of what's going on there but that bathroom ends up changing the one that's the family bathroom because sims can't get their hygiene in a shower bath combination tub thing so if they're showering you can bathe in it it's fine but otherwise and so here's i did change the color of the wall so there's some close-ups of the living room afterwards and i play tested it to the best of my ability it's a pretty big build <laughs> so so this is the area where you go meet santa and there was the chair there and of course a whole bunch of christmas things and then the cash register but they don't really use the cash register anyways but you need to have it on a lot for retail this is the little secret uh spellcaster room where you can get a few potions and all the things that are there could be marked for sale so they're all marked for sale and then this area has some toys and bots and stuff like and some cameras just some things to help supplement and this is their workroom area so they don't actually have any employees because they're family they have them they control it but uh, that's where they would build some or technically the thought is they'd build them and here's her spell her potions room from uh she's just a very new spell caster but that's it and this room here becomes like an exercise room and there is a um uh desk and stuff for for jasper because he's a bit of well he is a celebrity he's a five-star celebrity and he does youtube videos and uh music tracks so he needed that because usually when i do retail i have them just live on the retail lot which is why it's a full-fledged house that they have here this is the master bedroom with their own ensuite and then the shared family bathroom that you get to from the hall and uh, then again over to the right which will be coming up pretty soon here is this is going to be the little girls room and then the room we will see next is going to be the spare bedroom i also took the patio outside and that's off if you, well you, it actually isn't you, i needed to add a door so i added a door uh we're not even there yet <laughs> we're still, and the windows there are actually uh hidden there's you, you unlock them with a detective career but i was building this before anyone was on the lot so i didn't have to have that unlocked so it's like a one-way mirror slash window so you can see out it see out into the store but they can't see in and there's that patio that i was talking about and there's the back porch area or the back um garden area that's got the toddler stuff so that they can go out and keep warm inside and not be too worried about the cold and so here's some we're going to end with some before and after shots just a few so all of the before have before on them and anything that's after doesn't have anything written so and i did actually take their weather machine over and turn it on so that it was snowy which made it freezing <laughs> for them and uh but that's why there's some snow there and i sheltered the trees because i wasn't sure whether they were electronics whether they would work if it was raining or bad weather outside so i put like a roof over them so that they wouldn't have that issue so that's kind of my whole little background story with my family so this is father winters <sighs> and his family's store of course um and you can see it's much bigger now when there i had the daughter go and uh wait in the lineup because there's a little lineup to get to see father winter and there he is reading to the three young ones so again just to summarize the details of what we needed to do are up on the screen voting ends at 9 p.m eastern on tuesday december 17th so go vote uh, the link will be down below and there will also be a link to the playlist with the videos down below too and if you want this house it's up on the gallery you can see all the details on the screen and it used a lot of packs or i used a lot of packs with it it's 294,434 simoleons you could easily convert the retail to something else like I probably normally when I do retail I'd be more inclined just to sell paintings but uh, I wanted to try and make it sort of in line with the story behind it whereas you know my idea of the toys because the robot station you can actually make some toys with it but they're really tiny so that's why I thought I would do some bots and a couple of servos and stuff like that to sell it there also and uh, a couple of the other things but you could 
sell anything you wanted and you could clear out the whole Christmassy area and just make that retail and it's like set for your family to live on the lot. But that is going to be it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye! This has been Jennifer. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below. I'd love to see them. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And if you'd like to see more videos of challenge, let's plays, tutorials, and occasional speed builds, please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Thanks very much!